Welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys are new make sure to scroll down and hit that subscribe button to get notified whenever i post if you guys are not new welcome back make sure you guys follow me on my social media they'll be on the screen here because if you don't follow me on my social media then baby girl what are you doing with your life you're doing nothing obviously so yeah guys welcome back to my channel and this is a new channel so I should say welcome to my new channel if you follow me on social media or if you have my personal number that you can get to me by you will see that the last few days I have lost access of my main Instagram account and this is a video to be explaining everything that happened and what also happened to my old YouTube channel so yeah so i asked you guys on instagram and also on my status on whatsapp to send me some questions that you guys asked me about what happened so in this video i'm here to clear up everything or every question that you guys had so yeah without further ado let's just get straight into the video and like comment share subscribe to the channel we're growing guys yeah Road to 100 subs by the end of the week. So, share to a friend, share to a friend, share to a friend, 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 friend. So, yeah, guys. Also, I wanted to mention this little disclaimer. If you see this on my nose, my baby sister, we were playing and she accidentally, like, cut my nose. So, just don't look at that. You look at me. Okay. So, the first question is, who inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Well, honestly, I don't know. I think I inspired myself, honestly. Because <laughs> I don't really know. I think I inspired myself. Maybe if you... I don't... See, I, I don't even know. My mind is so blank. Who inspired me to start my YouTube channel? I think myself. Because... At the time when I started my YouTube channel that I my old YouTube channel that I had for two years I started it in the summer when I was in New York a few days before my birthday because those times I was like really watching a lot of youtubers and I was like hmm can I do this and then out of nowhere I just made my first video and yeah I just went from there I don't really know who really inspired me but yeah it's it's not really a lot like i think i inspired myself the next question is how do you feel that your old channel is gone no guys i feel first off like when it first happened and then when i really processed everything i realized that shoot i lost my channel and i was like oh my god what am i gonna do i cried i literally i cried because imagine you have you built something for two years and then to see one stupid mistake that you did to see that everything was gone so yeah that i f i felt sad i cried um i felt like i didn't know who i was i felt like oh my god the, the just the thought of starting over again it was overwhelming i was kind of depressed like a lot happened in the last few months so yeah okay let me give you guys a basically rundown and i'm sorry that i don't really have receipts to show you of how this happened but okay so while I still had access to my old Instagram account, it's just Lexi, while I still had access to that account, um, you know, like people would like DM you saying like if you want to collab with people or stuff like that, like if you want to collab with a jewelry person or uh, clothing or something. But this lady, I cannot remember her Instagram name because 
I don't have the Instagram anymore so I don't have the messages or anything saved on any device so I don't really have as I said I don't really have receipts to show you guys of the conversations that we had leading up to what happened so basically what happened is um a lady contacted me on my instagram my it's just lexi instagram page and she was saying that she was a bit bitcoin sorry she was like a bitcoin um manufacturer or something like that or a mentor or some yeah some yeah she said she was like a mentor sorry guys i lost one ear <laughs> I don't know where it was okay that's 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 beside the point yeah she was saying that she was like a mentor and at the time when she inboxed me on my instagram it was leading up to my birthday so like in august it was like late july leading up to august for my birthday so i was like saving money towards my birthday because i wanted to do a photo shoot for my birthday so basically she was saying like um i can start bitcoin and i can trade money and get money and stuff like that and what i was thinking about is remember you're saving and you really want this do you really want the thing to happen so you're not really thinking about if it's worth it or not all you are think about say all right my this can just be like a one-on-one -on -one thing and it just only happened once and i'll never do it again just to see if it really works and if it and if i if i would get lucky and i actually get money from it like extra money so that was what was in my mind while i was because first i denied it and said no i can't do that right now this may be a scam and i'm saving from what the first thing i did was a red flag i i told the lady that I was saving for my birthday and I don't really have the money so that was the the wrong thing I said because after I said that she literally said well since as you don't have like she's basically saying like since I, I don't have enough money for what I'm planning for my birthday I could do the Bitcoin thing and I could get more money so as I said stupid mistake and yeah so i so so she asked me how much money i had and i said i had 50 dollars i said i have fi i had 50 dollars and she said oh that's good i can trade the 50 dollars into how much did she say i think it's 500 dollars she said i'm not really sure and she said oh i can trade the 50 dollars to 500 dollars okay guys so maybe someone is watching this and they're saying how can someone trade 50 dollars into 500 dollars guys remember i did not know anything about bitcoin i was only going off of what she was telling me that she could do and at the time i did not think to do any research about it because i was so into what she was saying so that was another mistake i made i did not research anything about it so please guys do not judge me as i said you live and you learn you make mistakes in life and you eventually learn from them so yeah and then i said okay so this is the moment no i didn't send the money as it but i was in the process in my mind before texting her back in the process of you know what let me just try this and see if it works or not so the first fifty dollars i with bitcoin you have to like do a wallet address or like you have to send the money to a wallet wallet address and stuff like that so she sent me the bitcoin um website you see i'm like talking to you guys like you guys are my, on my already my friends like stop okay so that basically she sent me the bitcoin website and the the wallet i just i was supposed to send the money to and i sent the the 50 dollars i had to the wallet address and then hours later i was like texting her and she wasn't answering and i was like this is weird and then she finally answered and then she's like oh i'm sorry me and my team are trying to trade the money and it's not working so I'm saying to myself, why isn't it working? And you told me that $50 could have done the mining thing, the trade thing. So I was like, why isn't it working? And she said, you have to send, she said, 
maybe if you send $50 more, then you could, we could, then yeah, she said, if I send $50 more, so basically a hundred dollars, it would, it, it could go into the system and trade and I wouldn't, like, I, I won't bother get $500. She said I would get um $1,200 or something like that. So I said, okay, next thing, wrong step. I sent my money again. So basically I had, I, so basically I sent $100. I sent a hundred dollars into Bitcoin days before my birthday that I was planning on doing a photo shoot that money was supposed to use to use for the photo shoot and stuff like that. <sighs> so yeah, after I sent the other fifty dollars, she she um she texted me and sent me like the login thing to go on the Bitcoin thingy. I think I still have a screenshot of it. I'm not sure. But like when I went, she said I'm supposed to create the Bitcoin account. And when I went on it, I saw my name and it said $1,200. So she was like congratulating me and say, um, there you go. You're welcome. No, you can tell others about me and blah, blah, blah. What, I, what she didn't tell me was while I was trying to withdraw the money from the website, okay so what she didn't tell me is that i had so to withdraw the money from the account the account needed to be updated which is really dumb because if you're taking money from an account why does the account need to be updated so when i told her that she said oh yes i forgot to mention that the account needs to be updated and when i went on the website and i pressed um customer service it led me to a whatsapp number i texted the whatsapp number and explained my situation that i was a first timer and i think it's uh, in my mind i'm still saying like this is a scam but i just want to trust the process you know i'm trying to motivate myself to yeah basically you know i'm trying to motivate myself so i text the number and like they reply like a normal customer service does and they're saying and they're showing me the, the different prices I would have to pay for the update the first and the cheapest update they were saying for me to update the account was for $550 bear in mind I only sent my only one dege dege hundred dollars to this lady and she's looking at the account and I it, the account said it had $1200 so what I was saying is, can't you take the $1,200 from the account and use it to pay for the upgrade for of the account? And then the customer service person was like, no, you can't do that. You have to find $550 by yourself and blah, blah, blah. So now I was like panicking because I'm like, I don't have $550. Where am I going to get that from? So, um, yeah, that was... It was a, it was a really I I didn't sleep that night. I was like, oh my god, what did I just do? I just basically gave away half of my photo shoot money for my birthday. What am I gonna do? And yeah, um, yeah. And then so a couple of days after, a couple of days after, I literally texted the person and told them. I told them the situation again and telling them that I don't have the money to pay for all of that and they were like okay okay let me contact the company and ask them if they and he told me that instead of $550 it would be $300 I would have to find to pay for the upgrade for the account before I can withdraw the $1200 so I was like $300 okay I think I had like $50 left in my account, so I basically needed $250. So like, I was not thinking at all. I was like, I was just only thinking about where am I gonna get the money. So days and days and days and days go by. And then the customer service person, um, they contacted me. So I didn't contact them. They contacted me on WhatsApp again because it's the same number. 
they contacted me on whatsapp and said okay they need to um they need they want to see if they can talk to the company again and see if they can bring down the price since i'm a first timer and they really want the transaction to go through so i was like okay and then he was and then the person was saying that i needed to give my email address with the password anyone watching this right now can know that if you give anyone your email and the password they can simply change the password lock you out of the email and everything i wasn't thinking about that i was just thinking about giving them the email and they would do what they said they would do and i would have my money boy oh boy oh boy i was wrong i sent my email address with the password to the customer service person. Moments later, I was logged out of my email. I called the person, they answered. I called the customer service number, the person that I was texting while I gave the email and everything, he answered. So basically, I know his voice now and it's a he. And I, I said to the person, why did you change the password to my email and then he was like so basically after he changed the password to my email remember they have my they have my instagram account so like they can search on my instagram account and that email address that they had it was connected to my instagram so that's how my instagram got basically got hacked because i didn't give them the instagram i gave them the email address so yeah they hacked the email the email address and well they really they didn't have the email address i gave them the email address and they hacked my instagram page and if you guys go on the instagram page you now it's just lexi they actually changed it to it's just lexi 11 so one one you're going to see a photo of a lady and that was the same that was an account so the the lady i was that introduced me to the bitcoin thingy that was another account so basically they took her photos and put on my instagram account now if you guys look it up so basically that was what happened so i am so very sorry for persons who did did not expect this from me because i didn't expect this from myself either it was just a stupid mistake and all i was thinking about is my birthday and trying to raise money to do what i wanted for my birthday which i eventually did get to do um yeah i eventually did get to do my birthday photo shoot and my makeup and stuff like that that i was planning to do with the money so yeah but yeah that's basically how i lost my instagram and my email address and my youtube my old youtube is connected to the email address okay so with the email i cannot log into the email at all because first of all the password is changed and the phone that i'm recording with now it's still a 12 pro max because while before my birthday we moved from one apartment to the other so i'm in the other apartment right now making this video so yeah we moved from the apartment and while moving my 12 pro max that i got that my dad my dad bought me um it got lost and i tried to track it down i couldn't track it down or anything so yeah yeah as i was saying um while i was moving the other 12 pro max got lost i tried to track it down i couldn't track it or anything it was completely just no signal i tried to press sound on it it said sound will play when connected so basically meaning when 
the phone is connected to a wi-fi or something of that sort so i tried to track down the phone every single day it did not work and at that point we moved in to the new apartment but it wasn't like fixed up as yet you know when you just move into a place it's like really messy and stuff like that every day i would go through like my bags that was on the floor in here my room and searching for the phone trying to call the number and stuff like that so what i'm basically trying to say is for the email the phone got lost and it was the same with the number that was on that phone and that number it belonged to another carrier service so my dad did not go with the same service as he did with the other one so he basically got me a new phone with a different carrier service and i don't think they would give me that same exact number that i had the last time so that is the only reason or the only thing that is holding me back from trying to get back my email address but for the instagram that's totally gone yeah but for the email address if i just have the number that was lost with the other phone then i would have a small chance of logging in to the email address and change my, my password and hopefully get back my old youtube channel but for now i am not seeing that happen in the near future so that's why i decided and put my mind to just start over back a new youtube channel and yeah that's basically what yeah because honestly i love making videos for people to watch and i love to see youtube is like my happy space whenever i record videos it makes me happy it makes others happy it makes others laugh so i just wanted to just remake a new youtube channel to continue that so basically yeah i'm sorry for explaining but this video is what it's all about like explaining what happened and blah blah, blah. okay back to question so since as you guys know everything or uh, the reason that things happened yeah so you guys know everything about what happened and why i wasn't active on all of my other social medias but now i remade back everything and i'm up and running and you know i'm just gonna leave that in the past behind me and look for a new journey on this new channel for better things to come you know we're all about positive vibes over here and yeah it still hurts me sorry to know that i built my youtube channel for two years hard work consistent well not really consistent consistent but you know consistent like a lot of content like i had over a hundred videos on that channel and you know what we're gonna pass a hundred videos on this channel i'm going to manifest that and yeah okay back to the question so the question that i answered how do you feel that your old channel is gone sad but we're gonna put that in the past we're gonna focus on the future and more good things to come okay so the next question is how is school if you started and if you haven't can you do a back to school series so i haven't started school as yet school is going to start on september the 7th and today is i don't know the date today is the 31st of july today is the 31st of july so basically I have one more week before school starts so yeah um sure i would love to do a back to school series um what is a back to school series um i would have to go on youtube and research that but sure like if you like these questions like all of these are just giving me new ideas to do more stuff on this channel because no on this channel i want to be more outgoing and come out of my box and you know like stuff like that so the other question when did this happen so as i said it happened um i have the exact date it was july 22nd 
so basically the end of july going on to almost the end of july going on to august for my birthday so this happened on july 22nd how did you feel when it happened i felt really sad depressed i basically hated myself for what i did because i was like you really put your mind in that space all because you were thinking about your birthday and what you wanted to do and then you didn't have the right amount of money to do what you wanted to do and basically that's what led me to do what i did money and my mind of course so yeah the next question is how are you holding up i am okay now as i said and the most the most the most um sad thing about everything that happened in the last few months is that my phone as i said i was moving it got lost so i was like really not lexi i was not lexi at all because you guys know well you don't know me as yet but yeah this is a new channel but all subscribers from my old channel coming on to this new one they know how lexi is she's very active and funny and laughy laughy and i like, you know but i was not lexi at all like you know you move into a new place and you know you want to be you, you you're moving to a new place and you know you're excited for say where you're going to put your bed what you're going to decorate your room with i was not thinking about i was not thinking about that i was thinking about how i lost my youtube i lost my instagram page um i lost my phone i was like in a really dark place and my dad i'm sorry guys he's not here right now he's on the road he surprised me for my birthday so like on my birthday i woke up the morning i woke up the morning on my birthday i used the washroom come came out he gave me my gifts i got um a puma shoes it's a matching shoe that me and that he had and he bought one for me so we're both matching now with the shoe he bought me a shoe he bought me a step watch thingy that you can track your steps with because i always wanted one i had one while i was in jamaica but then it got broken and he bought me a new one for my birthday and then he surprised me with a new phone a new 12 pro max it's the same blue as the last time so yeah he basically surprised me with a new one and yeah i was like really happy i even cried and i couldn't believe that i was holding a new phone in my hand after i hadn't have the phone for at least three weeks because it, it had been three weeks that i lost three or two weeks that i lost the phone and couldn't track it or anything and i had to be using this my old phone i had to be using my old phone but it wasn't the same because the stuff on this phone it so like my instagram page i had to be using my business page to go on instagram and stuff like that so you know it's not really the same and yeah it's it's just oh, it's, it's just too much and yeah you you guys can understand it's very overwhelming because parents may say like your their phone that it spent too much time on their phone but basically my phone was my life so i so even my dad he was like he was like when he gave me the phone he was like i saw that you were very sad and you even looked depressed that you didn't have your phone and for all of the stuff that happened so he was glad that he could like brought happiness again to like see so yeah i just love my dad so much and yeah so how am i holding up now i'm doing great like better than before i'm trying new stuff as you guys can see i have lashes on i'm trying new stuff like i learned to put lashes on um i even did my hair like it was at like a side part it was at a side part and then i tried to do a middle part i've never done middle part before so like i'm i'm just doing fine and i'm trying new stuff that i've never tried before and it's going well so i look forward to being 16 you know yeah. 
Okay. What the next question is? What did you do to cope with losing your Instagram and YouTube? Girl, I did nothing. I just I was being sad. I literally didn't do anything other than help my mom fix up the place, fix up the house and stuff like that. I literally didn't do anything. I sang songs, you know, cuz you know, I sing. Yeah. I didn't really do anything to cope with anything, you know. I didn't really do anything to cope with it. I just told myself that, you know what? It's a new this is like basically a new opportunity to start all over again. So I just took it. We're good. We're, we're really good. I'm 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 not joking. I'm really okay now, guys. I am. Okay? So don't worry about me. I'm okay. And if you know if I tell you that I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay. What I was saying is, um, what I plan to, what are my plans to overcome this obstacle is basically if I, just to move on because everything has already been done. And if I could relive the moment and change something, I would simply block and delete the person that inboxed me, inboxed me on my Instagram and doing all of this bitcoin stuff so yeah my plans really i don't really have any plans for that because as i said it's hard it has already been gone i can't change anything it's just life you live you learn you make mistakes and yeah um question is did you ever cry yes i did i cried and then you know what i cried about most is that when we were moving, it was me and my dad. When because my mom went to work that evening, so it was me and my dad that was bringing up stuff to the new apartment from the old one. It was me and my dad there when my phone got lost, and we, me nor him, know how the phone got lost, but it got lost. And every day, like when we moved into the new apartment, he would like come from work and ask me if I haven't found the phone as yet, and then. That would just lead me to cry because you can literally see that I'm really sad and then you're gonna mention that I haven't found the phone and it's literally lost. So I was really annoyed. He would literally come home and ask the same question if I found the phone or not. And that made me really sad and I would just go in my room and you know, you know when you want you you know when you're crying and you don't want people to hear you you just like cry softly that that's what i would do so yeah i did cry and it was almost every day so i was not in a really good mental state but now i am how did you feel when you migrated from jamaica and started going to school so how did you feel when you migrated from jamaica and started to go to school I felt I felt good because you know when if like if you've traveled since you've been a young age and you know you go to foreign and like you see how they live like the person we went to like they live and some of the person you go to like they have kids and you know that those kids go to school there it like it just makes you want to go to school there and you don't want to go back home so it felt really good to me and it was nice that i got to meet new people from literally different um different countries because the school i go to they have a lot of nationalities there jamaicans go to my school chinese japanese vietnamese africans a lot of different nationalities of kids and just everywhere and canadians too they go to my school so it was really nice to see a lot of different colors and shades and like different groups of people at just one place so it was really nice for me and it was also really welcoming because of course I'm a dark-skinned person and some people at the school like some are racist but you know they're kids so you don't really care but some people are racist and some aren't so it was a really good experience for me to start school in canada 
with people who aren't racist and they love my color and it's like it just like really excites me and stuff like that like when i go to school and i change my hairstyle and stuff like that it just it just makes me happy to see that they really like it because when you go when i go to school they're like oh my god you changed your hair again it looks so cute on you and like they give you compliments and so you know i'm like thank you <laughs> so yeah it's like really good it's a really good experience so i would recommend i would recommend this to anyone come to school from canada it's really nice being a black girl <laughs> well sometimes but you, you know what i mean yeah the next question is who do you love more your mommy or your daddy i cannot choose because i love my parents i love both of my parents the same most people would say i love my father more because i was i was like the first girl from my biological girl for my dad so i was like basically his princess and he would give me what i wanted like people from primary school in jamaica would basically say i love my dad more and stuff like that but honestly i love both of my parents the same amount because they both made me <laughs> so why would i love one more than the other thing but yeah i love both of them the same i don't i don't have a preference me and my mom have a different relationship than what me and my dad have me and my mom we play sometimes not all the time but you know we have two we have two separate i have two separate relationships with both my parents so i can't choose who i love more what, whatever next question what do you want to be when you grow up i wanted from i was in elementary school basically basic school in jamaica i so first i wanted to be a nurse because i love to take care of people when i was smaller not no um yeah i wanted to be a nurse and then i wanted to be a police woman because <laughs> in jamaica um you have this thing i think it's called career day and then you dress as the thing you the person you want to be when you grow up or a job you want to do when you grow up and i dressed as a police woman i would insert the photo because i do have the photo so i'm gonna insert it i was like <laughs> yeah um i wanted to be a police woman and then by by the time i graduated from basic school and started primary school I decided I wanted to be a teacher and since primary school basically middle school to still no high school I decided I wanted I want to be a teacher I just don't know specifically what age or subject I would teach but I am getting to start to think about that but yeah I would want to be a teacher I have literally haven't think about any other profession since I was six years old and now i'm 16 <laughs> so <laughs> um i want to be a teacher so i think it's really fun especially if you teach lower school kids and not high school kids you know high school kids like uh -uh. i don't want to teach high school kids i know that well but but like you know like smaller kids and you have to be good with kids and me personally i think i'm good with kids it's just sometimes they get on my nerves but you know if it's a profession you have to go through with it but yeah um yeah i want to be a teacher i've been saying that for like 10 years now and i still haven't changed my mind so i'm most likely gonna be a teacher <laughs> when i graduate from high school or something what's your full name so if some of you don't know my first name is lexian l-e-x-i-a-n-n -E -N. it does not have an hyphen in it it's just one straight lexian l-e-x-i-a-n-n -E -N. so my name is lexian ashley adamson the last name some people misspell it and say anderson which i think is really dumb because i said adam 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 son so basically a d a m s o n adam like adam and eve adam and then son like that's my son so adamson 
and then my middle name is Ashley A S H L E Y yeah Ashley like Ashley's furniture and and stuff like that yeah Lexi and Ashley Adamson and I'm really jealous that my mom did not give me a second middle name because my sister my big my older sister she has a second middle name and i was like we up to this day now i'm still jealous that i don't have a second middle name but it's okay now because my smaller sister she only has one like me so i think we're even so yeah, my full name is lexian ashley adamson um how much sisters and brothers do you have i have two sisters and zero brothers so it's just three girls that my mom has my older sister me and my younger sister i'll insert photos of the three of us my older sister me my younger sister do you miss jamaica yeah <laughs> i do I miss Jamaica because um, I mostly miss my family in Jamaica, which we talk on the phone, but it's like not the same. And yeah, I miss my family. I miss my schoolmates from Jamaica. And yeah, my church mates, like my church friends. And yeah, so yeah, I do miss Jamaica and I'm hoping that I get to go to Jamaica for a summer hopefully in the near future <laughs> mommy or daddy if you're watching this just buy the ticket please <laughs> yeah i do miss jamaica though how much best friends do you have <clears throat> i have three best friends i have three best friends two boy best friends and a girl bestie so yeah can you give your subscribers a name if you basically watched the front the first part of the video i called you guys lexi berries so it's gonna be on the screen because it sounds weird when i say it. you guys are named lexi berries l-e-x-i-i -I, I think it's two eyes i put i'm not sure l-e-x-i-i -I, and then berries you know like strawberries berries because when i looked up names to call your subscribers they're like babies or moon or angel or something but i was like lexi babies is just too common and i want it to be out of the box so i named you guys lexi berries and i hope you guys like it because yeah <laughs> yeah i named you guys lexi berries um lexi berry gang lexi berry. Oh, yeah. you guys are named lexi berries you better like it because i spent a long time trying to find a name for you guys because i couldn't find anything that literally rhymed with my name so you guys should be lucky and yeah and we have the last question what's your favorite color no any person should know this but obviously you don't so you're asking me my favorite color is blue 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 that's my favorite color blue i'm literally wearing blue right now like yeah i just love the color blue and people say girls shouldn't like blue they're like girls should like pink and i'm like i'm not a pink girl i'm a blue girl when I did my photo shoot, I went with blue theme. I went with a little baby blue, periwinkle blue theme for my birthday. I will insert photos. For I will insert photos of of my birthday and stuff like that. So yeah. So basically, guys, that's literally the end of the video. Um, welcome to my new channel, Journey of Lexi. Um. Let me give you a quick story of why I picked Journey of Lexi. Sorry guys, my phone was about to die, so I had to run for the charger. <laughs> but yeah, the reason I picked Journey of Lexi is because while I named my channel The Journey of Lexi is because of my old YouTube channel. So as you guys know, or know you know, I had my old YouTube channel for two years. I had it for two years and 
I was saying I'm going to remake a new channel. I don't want it. I don't want to name it the old channel. You know, I don't want to name my new channel. It's just Lexi again. So I just changed it, and then I was like thinking. So I I went on TikTok and said YouTube name ideas, and then I was watching this one, and one came up that said the journey off and our journey off, and then the in brackets right name. So I was like, mm, I kind of like that one. It said the journey of Lexi. So I sticked with that one and said, and then had an explanation for why I would pick it. So the reason I picked it was because, as I was saying, I had my old channel for two years and I was like, you know what? This is going to be a new journey for me, like to try new stuff, to go up my box. And, you know, so I like, I really like the name, the journey of Lexi. So I sticked with it and that's why my new channel is called The Journey of Lexi. So yeah, that's why I picked the name. So yeah. So yeah, I basically have nothing else to say. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys could understand from my perspective of why I did what I did and yeah. Um, this is the end of the video by Lexi Berries. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification to know whenever I upload a new video. Bye, guys. See you in my next one. I'm so happy to be starting a new channel for new beginnings and new stuff to come. So, bye. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my vibes in this video because I enjoyed it. Okay, guys, I love you. <laughs>